So now I'm going to show you how to mix greys. Okay, we've already just understood through the colour wheel the bias of colours and how to grey certain colours off, but I'm actually going to show you now. So here we take this orange that we mixed up between our cad yellow and our cad red. Okay. Now I want to grey that down a little bit. I can add a little bit of cerulean blue to it and see what happens. And because there's a lot of yellow in that cerulean blue, can you see how green that's sort of going? It's kind of like slightly green. I'm going to add a little bit more into there. But that could be a shadow orange colour. And you see that if you do a um, if you do a block, let's just say a cube, and a bit of it is in shadow, this colour here could be the shadow of that. Can you see? So just adding the blue in it. Now if you wanted to lighten that, okay, for sun hitting it, I would just go up the colour wheel, which is your yellow, and I would just lighten. So say there's sun hitting that on the top, you can actually just lighten that on the top. Can you see? So that would be the highlight of it, and that would be your shadow area of it. So that's graying down that orange. I'm also going to mix it up a little bit more and gray it down with the other blue so you can sort of see. Let's take some of that here, okay. And gray it down with your ultramarine blue. Just need a tiny little bit to turn that color a little bit. See how it just takes off that brightness of it and gives you that lovely muted grey down version. See how beautiful that is. Okay, so that's greying down orange. What about greying down blue? So here I've got blue here. Okay. And you see if you're going to make a, an ocean colour, you might say to yourself, that's just too, I'm going to add a bit of white. That's just too clean a colour. I don't want that blue to be so strong. All right. So why don't I add, take a little bit of that orange. Okay. And what does it do? Makes it green. <laughs> That's toned it down a bit too much because there's a lot of yellow in that and there's a lot of yellow in this blue. Okay. But can you see how just adding a little bit of it tones it down and grays it down. And add a little bit of white to that too. But so now you've got a grayed down version of that blue as opposed to your pure color here with white. So when I say we'll learn about grays, I'm not talking about the grays everybody thinks. I'm talking about gray down versions of colors. That looks a little bit extreme, so I'm going to do that again. And I haven't worked with the cerulean blue because I normally use thalo for this. But let's go again. So let's add a little bit of white to it. And we'll just add a tiny bit of um, the orange into it. Not too much. Let's take a tiny bit of that. Yeah, it's pretty strong, isn't it? So there's a grey down version of the cerulean blue. And you can see that's all you needed was a touch of that orange to grey that colour down. Okay, so now let's grey down the ultramarine. very strong bright color maybe I don't want it so strong and so bright so let's take a tiny bit of orange the orange has got so much yellow in it that it works so quickly but look at that that a beautiful beautiful gray what a gorgeous color that's the grayed down version of this. 
two hearts with one. Now I wonder if I use the cat orange, if that's a bit different because it doesn't have so much yellow in it. Where is that cat orange? Right in front. Stop. Right in. Oh, there. Okay. So I'm going to use a bit of pure cat orange and see what difference we have going with the blues in there. It's a bit different. It doesn't have as much yellow in as the one I mixed. But let's go a little bit cerulean blue in there. See, that's a beautiful grey down version of it. And look at that, that's stunning. So I'm going to try a little bit more. See how far we can push it. And of course, whenever you mix white into something, it greys it down further. I don't have a little bit of blue in it. So you can see how white will grey something down and cool it down too. That beautiful. So now um, let's just also try that cerulean in the, uh, I mean that cat orange in this blue as well. Let's see what happens using the actual cat orange instead of the mixed version. How beautiful that colour is. Mm. Okay. Because this doesn't have the yellow in it, so it's just going to tone that blue down in a different kind of way. Look at that. So it's not as green. You see the difference? Isn't that gorgeous? Now when you add white to that again, it's going to go grey. Look at that. That's a beautiful grey. Okay, so with complementary colours, if you want an actual pure grey, you've got to mix the same intensity of the colours. So, for instance, if we want to grey down violet, let's take this violet that we mixed. Okay. Add a little bit of white to it. Okay. Then we're going to add yellow to it. And because yellow is the opposite colour to violet. And we're going to add it till we can't see yellow or we can't see violet, till it's actually a neutral mix. Still a little bit violet, add a little bit more yellow. Still slightly violet. So now it's it's not violet, it's not yellow, it's quite neutral. A little bit more. Okay, starting to go brown. All right, now we add white to that. And look at that beautiful grey that you get. A very smoky, violety grey. Now, if I add more yellow to that, on the other side, I'll neutralize it even more. Let's neutralize it even more. And let's see what gray we get by mixing white to that. See how it's warmer? Mm. So that's what I mean when I talk about mixing grays, all those beautiful, beautiful colors. But now the other two complementary colors are, we've got blue and orange, we've got red and green, and we've got yellow and violet. So we're gonna mix violet into yellow and see what happens. So let's take yellow, and we want a shadow color of yellow. So we're creating this beautiful thing, and then we wanna make a shadow color of it. So let's take this violet, I a little bit there, and let's mix that into the yellow. Because the yellow is so transparent. Let's just do that. You see how that creates the shadow color of yellow? Just by adding a little bit of violet to that. Isn't that beautiful? 
Now imagine making a gray out of that by adding white. Oh my God, look at that color. Real gray down version. Okay, see I had to neutralize it with that, but look at that gray there, even if I add a little bit more of that into it. That's beautiful. So that's another beautiful gray. So now let's do the red and the green. Okay, so viridian and crimson would be your complementary colors. So let's try those. There's your crimson, and there's your brilliant. Okay, so mix them until we can't tell whether it's green or red. Okay. And I reckon that's pretty close. Okay, so let's put that down there. gray that we've got just from the green and the reds. Who would have thought? Okay. Isn't that incredible? But say we want to do a bush color and we want the bush to be really dark, okay? But we, we don't want it to be uh, gray. We'll take a little bit of red and we'll add it into the green. And then we'll get this beautiful dark green. Look at that. Um, so we've got that and we can put more in to darken it. So see how the red is darkening that green, almost making a black color, which is what we had here. That is like a black. So the red and the green create black because they, they, they neutralize each other because they both absorb all the, the, the color rays. And then I can add a little bit of um, white into here and you can see how I can change that grey to become a redder grey or a greener grey on the other side. Let's get some more white. So a slightly grey down green too. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So we've grayed down green and red mixed together. Now let's try with the red. So we've got red here, okay. Now we wanna gray that down with a bit of green. So all we need to do is add that in. You see how we darken that red straight away. So all we're after is having a darker red. So to tone it down and gray it down and to darken it, we can add that complementary. They're both transparent colors, which makes it a bit tricky. So yeah. that slightly makes it slightly more violet, even though I'm adding green. Let's have a look there. Actually, make quite a beautiful violet. Okay. 